Hi everyone in LTDE 5305. I would like to show you my professional portfolio that I have created. Um, this is the home page and I just love this shot of a class that I had a few years ago and just thought it was fun and loved it and wanted to use it. And then just um, my picture, my bio, um, then a couple of other pictures of just students blowing bubbles just to sort of tie together this picture of my students here. And um, when we get into 5305, the first thing that we did this year was to create the collaborative instructional design evaluation tool. And here is ours. Um, as it's populating and this was the first time that we had or that I had used um, Microsoft Forms and found that um, it has a lot more of the visual effects than Google Forms and wish that I could use it more uh, as we uh, at my school are using the Google Suite. And then going back up here to my portfolio, the second thing that we created was the content curation for a digitally based instructional unit. I love Pinterest and have already created lots and lots of pins on different Pinterest boards, but it was fun creating this Pinterest board for the topic of fractions that I was doing my projects on. And so I found all kinds of fraction websites, um, different lesson plans and videos, and then just even some images that I was using for um, different things as we were doing the web quest and um, the subject sampler. And then back to the portfolio. The next thing was the WebQuest assessment piece. And again, I did mine on fractions. I created my um, WebQuest in Quest Garden and found that to be pretty straightforward. Um, here's the introduction and the task for each of the students. Um, and then the process, you can see the evaluation. Here's the rubric that they would be evaluated by. And then the conclusion, credits page, and the teacher page. Um, and then back to the portfolio. The final piece was the subject sampler. And again, I did it on fractions, but this time I moved a little deeper and went into um, mixed numbers. And then finally into adding and subtracting mixed numbers. So I started out with different videos that the students could watch on what mixed numbers were as opposed to improper fractions and then gave them a Quizlet um, on improper fractions and then another Quizlet on mixed numbers. And the second thing they had to do was watch a video on changing improper fractions to mixed numbers and then create one of those little fortune tellers or cootie catchers, whatever you want to call them, um, that they could play with their classmates and change improper fractions to mixed numbers. The third activity was the opposite of that, changing mixed numbers back to improper fractions. And so I had a YouTube video um, from the Math Antics guys, and after they watched that, then they would play a Kahoot game um, to see if they could change mixed numbers to improper fractions.
And then finally, we got into the adding and subtracting fractions um, with like denominators. Still kind of basic here, but I had a Khan Academy video for them to watch, and then they would take a quiz on the quizzes website for this. And then finally, the subtracting fractions with like denominators. And again, they had to watch a video by the Math Antics guys and then go to Matific and play a game there where they would subtract mixed numbers with like denominators. And I do plan on using this with the class that I have this year um, as we get into fractions coming up. Um, of all the authentic assessment pieces that we created, I think the subject sampler was the most meaningful to me. Um, I just think the stu my students would love watching the short videos and then playing the games or the activities um, that go along with them. I think they would also like the independence of this activity. But in the WebQuest also, I like that it was um, all online and think maybe the students would like that too. In creating the subject sampler, it really helped me to see that authentic assessment pieces are super important and just love this subject sampler and will continue to use them and make more of them. I think the most um, significant word of advice that I got um, was from Nathan Neese and he asked how I would see each student's results for the activity and I hadn't thought about that and this made me evaluate and think about how I would do that. Um, and he also reinforced the idea of showing short videos and then um, playing, have the students play a game or an activity. And I will continue to do this. Also, um, Gibran McConnell mentioned that he was a visual learner and that he thought the games that were in the subject sampler would have helped him as a student. And that really helped me to continue to think about my students who are visual learners and that they should be watching little tiny videos like we're watching and not just listening to me or just doing things in class, um, but having outside resources to help them. And so I like that Gibran brought that up and helped me to think about that. So I, I appreciate these two men for um, their comments on this. I have really enjoyed making these things. I have learned a lot and thanks for listening. And I hope you all um, enjoy your Christmas and your break from classes for a few bits. Merry Christmas. See you later.